Sorry, I'm on a bit late. I'm just doing a bit of recording for the socials. <laughs> so, um, just a couple of things about me, just so you can get to know me a bit more. Um, but first of all, I do want to say, you're an amazing crowd so far. Can we have a cheer for everyone else? Yeah. I love it. It's so cool. I mean, more seats than the Tory party. Yeah. So, a couple of things about me. Um, as you can probably tell, um, I'm what's known as an atheistic Satanist. <laughs> Thank you. And um, so when I came out with that, I uh, did it on Twitter. I mean, granted, I know you shouldn't talk about your acts online, but there you go. Yay! So um, I went on Twitter because I could keep a sense of anonymity. And, you know, because I don't want weirdos knowing who I am. <laughs> and, um, but as formerly mentioned, I'm also dyslexic. So my profile picture had terms like, Hail Santa. <laughs> and that my favourite sin is list. <laughs> so another thing, I've always been a huge fan of comedy. It runs through my blood. It would run in my jeans, but I had to change my trousers today. <laughs> so um, um, my mother is actually a stand-up comedy uh, comedian. This is true. She's a proper stand-up, and she's really excited that I'm doing this. And um, she sat me down one day and said, "Son, this isn't how she sounds. Son." <laughs> Do you want to know the secret for comedy, for stand-up? And I'm like, give me a sec. I'm like, yes, mum. <laughs> oh, um, the secret is, don't try and be funny. <laughs> what? Yeah, but the, it's basically, tell your story, don't try and push it too hard. Which is also fun because um, she talks about her experiences as a professional dominatrix. <laughs> It's always very difficult listening to your mum talking about owning slaves. <laughs> Modern woman. Uh, but um, I do like to spend a lot of my time on the internet, probably more than I really should. And um, <clears throat> and I do kind of get a lot of my traits from my mother, so I always find like kinks and sexuality very fascinating and interesting. Which is why I'm horrified by the internet at this point. Because there was stuff that we used to see like in the um, early 2000s and you wouldn't predict where it would go now. But way back then, you know, like, your fetish and your kink would be like dressing up as a maid or a nurse or a priest. Although nowadays if you dress as a priest you're more into age play. <laughs> but when you see the stuff that's popular now, all I, someone somewhere has sat down with their partner and gone, Hey baby. <laughs> I'm in the mood. What do you want to do with me? I want you to pretend to be stuck in the washing machine. <laughs> um, okay, 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 daddy. No. Stepbrother. <laughs> and uh, so the other interesting thing is that um, as of my, uh, my, my mother used to it used to be a professional dom. And uh, I mean, she got paid for this. I'm more of an enthusiastic hobbyist. <laughs> so I've got a lot of the equipment, I've got a whole bunch of electronics. I mean, I spent more money on these electronics than I do when I built my PC. <laughs> and, um, but at the same time, it's always quite interesting because I always imagine that the, the, the old saying is the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. My apple's so close to the tree, a snake will try and tempt you with it. <laughs> Thank you, that's my time, and don't forget, Hail Santa!